Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making my family's traditional either Easter morning breakfast or the day after Easter breakfast. And that is for a dish called creamed eggs or in some parts of the country it's also called goldenrod. There is a slight variation between the two dishes and I will point those out later. But for now let's go over the ingredients. We are going to need a 3 cups of milk, about 6 to 7 hard boiled eggs, a fourth of a cup of flour, and four tablespoons of butter, as well as some salt and pepper, and those are all the ingredients. So let's go ahead and get moved over to my stove, and we're going to start making our cream sauce. Alright guys, I've gone ahead and melted my butter in here, and I'm going to go ahead and add in my flour, and we're going to start making our roux. While I'm doing this, I would like to remind you of the Gamers and Geeks playlist that J.P. Gadath and I have going on in our channels. It is a community-driven playlist made up of you, our friends, and YouTube family. If you would like to be a part of it, it's really easy. All you have to do is go out and make a cooking video, and once you've done that, post it to your channel, and then let either JPEG or I know in the comment section of our latest cooking videos, or if you're a part of our Discord service, you can let us know over there as well. The only thing we ask, guys, is that you mention the Gamers and Geeks playlist somewhere in your video, as well as leaving a link to it in your description, and that way we can continue to support all the people that have already contributed to the list. So now that my flour and butter are combined, I'm just going to let these sit here and simmer for about a minute to allow the raw flour taste to cook out a little bit. Alright, now this has been cooking for a minute, I'm going to go ahead and start adding in my milk. Being sure to stir it as I go along. We do not want any lumps in here. Now that I have all the milk incorporated, I'm going to continue to stir this, being sure to scrape the bottom so the bottom doesn't scorch until it's nice and warm and it's started to thicken up. Alright, now that I have this thickened right where I want it, I'm going to go ahead and add in my salt and pepper. Now that I have this seasoned to the way that I want it, I'm going to go ahead and add in my eggs, and this is where the difference between creamed eggs and goldenrod comes in. So if you're making goldenrod, you would not be adding in the yellow parts or the yolk part of the egg at this point. It's traditionally dusted across the top, while only the white sections are added into the cream sauce. For creamed eggs, you add both in at this time, and that's the way I'm going to do it, since that's the way I've always had it. So let's just get our eggs in and then we're going to warm them all the way through and it'll be ready for us to try it. Alright guys, I've got our creamed eggs all plated up and I did go ahead and garnish it with an egg yolk that I left out of the sauce and I just lightly shaved that over the top of the dish. Now I do like mine served on top of toast, all ripped up like this, but it's equally delicious on top of pancakes or cat head biscuits. So let's get in here and give it a nibble. Oh wow, this is so good. I love this dish so much. I've been eating it since I was a very little kid. And I am certainly happy to be able to pass this tradition along to my children who love it as much as I do. Alright guys, well that is going to be it for me for the day. I hope you've enjoyed this little look at what my family traditionally eats for Easter breakfast. If you have, leave me a comment down below. If you guys tried this recipe out, let me know how it turns out for you. Remember to check out the Gamers and Geeks playlist as well as my Cooking with Walk Girl playlist. I will leave links down in the description to them. And as always, thank y'all so very much for joining me today. I've been Walk Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.